well, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the best parenting and baby apps that you can find out there. Am I boring you? Is this boring to you? You don't have to be here. What do you want? I promise you, it's not boring at all, despite what Julia Pierre might think. It's not for her. It's for you. And your toddler. Or baby. Not for dogs. Not for dogs. She's jealous. <laughs> Julie here is just joining me because she was napping on the bed and I decided to use the bed as my studio and so I figured the nice thing to do was to include her. I was wrong. <laughs> anyway, these parenting apps are for you to use to help make things a little more efficient. Uh, they're also for your toddler to use to occupy them and entertain them. These are apps to make your life a little easier, to make baby's life just a little more fun. Let's get right into it. Number one, one second every day. This is the most genius way to preserve memories of your little one and it's just so simple to use. It's foolproof, you can't mess it up. Basically what it does is it takes one second of every single day that you've shared with your little one and mashes it up into one big video. It takes one second from every day in let's say the month of February and mashes it and edits it all together puts it all in a timeline and in a perfect little video, you can add music to it, and you're able to make these sweet little videos showcasing the life of your little guy month to month. It shows how your baby's changing, it's really incredible. That's one way to use it, I think it's probably the easier way to do it. I love video editing since I have a background in journalism and it's really not that much harder. I like the second way of using it, it's called freestyle. This way you're able to include more than just one second or one moment from every single day. I usually chose about two or three and you're able to customize it a little bit more to your liking. What I did was I took these videos at the end of every single month that Mac had completed and I posted them to Facebook and shared it with my friends and my family and it was just a really nice way to share moments in Mac's life and his development and celebrate his month-to-month -month birthdays and share just these special memories with the people you care about. It's so sweet and I'll have these videos forever. I just love it. And at the end of a year what I did was I basically took these month-to-month -month videos and I mashed it up into a year tribute. One Second Every Day is a free app which is also great but there are a few add-ons if you'd like to get them that make the app just a little more user-friendly that you can just pay a small amount and get those as well. I did because I love it so much. Number two. Genius. A lot of toddlers are very familiar with FaceTiming since they might do it with grandma and grandpa or some of your friends and family. So why not FaceTime with one of their favorite characters? Elmo. This app is free, creates a lot of smiles, at least in my little guy. But like a lot of other apps, there are some add-ons that you can pay for, not at a steep price at all. You can take a look at some of the add-on packs where Elmo will call and wish your child a happy birthday. Elmo talks about feelings, gives them encouragement. There's holiday calls, uh, telling Elmo you're proud. And just to give you an idea for the price range for some of these add-ons, not that much at all. Firsts and celebrations like back to school, first movie, happy birthday, is only 99 cents. So not bad if your kid really likes Elmo. Three. While we're on the subject of Elmo, we may as well talk about two other PBS related apps that I just love and really keep my little guy entertained. PBS Kids Video and PBS Games. I reserve these apps for those moments, maybe when your kid's out to dinner and just they're done, they don't want to sit there anymore, or some long car rides. You're taking your kid's favorite shows with you, from Sesame Street, Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, Curious George, Pinkalicious, my son loves the show Splash and Bubbles, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, which makes me a little nostalgic, a whole bunch of other ones. So it's really great to just have not only full episodes, but also snippets with just songs if your kid just loves the songs. Four, if you're looking for something a little more interactive, PBS Kids Games has all of these characters from all of your kids' favorite shows, except 
they're playing games, so it keeps them just a little bit busier for a little bit longer. What I love about these games is a lot of them tend to be very educational, like PBS Kids shows, so I don't feel as guilty for my son having a little bit of screen time. Five, segueing into apps that help mom and dad a little bit more. I love the Wonder Weeks app. It's an app that basically talks about leaps that your child goes through. It explains it all in the app, but basically what they're saying is when your child is growing and learning a lot mentally, they kind of go through a regression emotionally, so it kind of explains why uh, they are doing that. So maybe you'll notice that your child's going through a little bit more of a fussy, clingy stage. It's amazing how these leaps tend to match up with uh, the clingy, fussy stages, at least we found for our son. Sometimes Mac would wake up a little bit more in the night and we would check our leap app and for sure he was going through what is called a developmental leap. It customizes it exactly to your baby, your child. You put in your baby's due date, not their birth date because they say that allows for more accuracy developmentally. And uh, basically it tells you on a calendar when your child is going to go through these leaps or these fussy periods because they are going through so much mental development. And maybe you might not schedule a vacation that time, or maybe you won't be staying out late those nights, maybe you won't get that babysitter you had planned for, or maybe you'll just get that emotional security that you're not crazy, your child is going through something, you didn't do anything wrong. Why is my child being so out of hand? Is it something that I'm doing? What is going on? But it basically reassures you that yeah, part of this has to do with a mental development situation and you're not alone. And sometimes it's nice to just have that pat on the back. Confidence is everything in being a new parent. Most of the apps I mentioned in this video are free. This is one of the few ones that is not. It's $2.99 right now on Apple iTunes Store. But if you think about it, you might be spending that kind of money on a book of advice. So you're just getting it in a much more efficient, simpler, easier to use app form. Six. The Medela app. When you come home from the hospital with a newborn, you're going to have to track how often your baby eats, how often your baby sleeps. Your doctor's gonna ask you at their first appointment and nobody really warns you about this. And writing it down on a piece of paper, I know my hospital gave me a workbook, it's just complicated in the middle of the night and maybe you're in a different room, but you do tend to always have your mobile device near you. For both naps, nursing, and pumping, all you have to do is press a start button on a timer and at times how long uh, your baby's naps, feedings, or pump sessions are. When you're done, simply press stop and it logs the entire thing for you. Also, if you didn't happen to be by your phone at this exact time and you wanna enter it manually, you can certainly go back and do that. There are a bunch of other apps that do this kind of thing, but what I love about Medela's is it seems to be really streamlined and uh, just make everything very simple. There's also a section where it shows you a chart for your baby and how he or she has been doing over a day or two, over a few weeks. You can really see the big picture on how your baby's eating, sleeping, and how you're doing pumping. And now I have a co-host. Let's see how long he lasts. My babysitter had to leave, so. <sighs> He's a ham. He's like blinded by the light. <laughs> I've got everybody here, it's a family affair. We're just gonna let him crawl around in the bed and see how he does for a little bit. He's got his pretzel too that he loves and uh, there's gonna be crumbs all over my bed. It's gonna be fantastic. Hi. <laughs> Seven. Another one for parents, Vroom. It's literally called Vroom, and I actually found this on an ad from the PBS Kids app. Have you ever had one of those moments where you're sitting there with your toddler or your kid and you just have run out of ideas of how to keep them entertained? Vroom's got you covered. Each and every day, it comes up with a new uh, game for you to play with them, a new activity, so everything's always fresh, and I love that. They cater these activities to your child's age, so when you download the app, you put in your child's age, so all of these activities meet your child where they are developmentally. My child developmentally is at the stage where he likes to kick me in the side. <laughs> Oh boy. Eight, the Ovia family of apps, and I love them all. There's Ovia Cycle Tracker, Ovia Pregnancy, and Ovia Parenting for after you have your little one. The Cycle Tracker does just that, tracks your cycles, helps you if you are trying to have a baby and trying to conceive. Ovia Pregnancy gives you updates on how big your little guy or little girl is and where they are in their development as you're pregnant. And Ovia Parenting. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. And OV 
Ovia Parenting helps you with this kind of stuff. When you are a parent, it tells you where your child should be developmentally and uh, some tips and tricks along the way. Nine. This app we're actually gonna put to use right now. This is uh, for your child. It's called Baby Bubbles. And basically it's very simple. There's just bubbles that float across your screen and your baby can pop them and it vibrates when you pop them and there's also sound effects. Um, I'm gonna give it to Mac right now because I'm just trying to finish this video. Come here, dude, look, what's this? And as you can see, it really works. This should allow me to finish the end of the video. Julie, 10, the sleep fan app. If you're on the go and you don't have your sound machine with you, which I really prefer the dome traveling sound machine. It's very light, it's portable, it's easy to bring with you. But if you're in a pinch, I think it's always important to have some kind of sound machine, sleep noise on your phone. Sleep fan sounds the most to me like the ever popular dome or roam sound machine, that whooshing fan that babies really love and that doctors seem to really recommend. 11. Animal theater. My son is actually playing it right now. We've moved on from bubbles to animal theater. The lion has a mane. As you can see, Max really interested. Where basically it shows them uh, an animal. It's a great app for one to two year olds who are learning a lot of words still. It pops up a kind of animal and basically tells your child what it is. Very simple, but great for the younger children. The app itself is free, but there are add-ons that are for a small price. I always find myself, if I really like the app, getting the add-ons, but um, for this one, I think it's well worth it because you'd be spending that kind of money on flashcards or on books anyway. 12, the Prime Video app. If you have Amazon Prime, this really is a no-brainer because you can stream any movie that you have or that you own through your Prime membership right on your phone, on your iPad, wherever you are. What's great about the Prime Video app, unlike the PBS app and some other uh, mobile video apps, is you can either stream what you have right on your phone if you're somewhere where there's Wi-Fi and internet, or for those on-the-go moments like in the car, on a plane, you can simply download those movies or those TV episodes that you know your kid loves uh, and just have them all the time. We're actually planning on flying with our son in May and uh, I'm hoping that my Amazon Prime Video uh, app is going to really do a lot of saving uh, for us in this instance. He loves all three Cars movies, he loves Frozen, and we have that all through our Amazon Prime Video app. And that pretty much sums it up for my favorite parenting app. I really hope this video helped you out. If it did, please share it with as many moms and dads as you possibly can on your social media. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure your bell notification is on. I'll see you in the next one, everyone. Say bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> Say bye-bye.